What's up, y'all? This is Rom coming back at you with yet another car video. Most men are not competing with Pookie, Ray Ray, Chad, or Tyrone for a woman. And this is why I say it. And let me be clear on something. Let me be clear on something. Don't come on here talking about, oh, well, I disagree. Fuck that shit. If you disagree, you better have some shit behind your disagreement. Can't stand when motherfuckers do that. And any, any argument I'm making, as y'all gonna see with this video, whether right or wrong, I'm gonna back up what I say. Whether right or wrong. It could be wrong. Okay, tell me how it's wrong, but you can't, don't just give one sentence. I can't stand that. That shit's weak to me. That shit is weak. But, thing is, right, most of y'all ain't competing with those characters, those archetypes. And you know what made me really think about that, right? I was talking with a lady friend. I hope she don't get mad. I use an example. I ain't gonna call her name. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful and stuff. But we were talking about that. Women going over handsome men and, you know, going crazy over a man's face. And, of course, there are some who do, but there's some who prefer a man who's a bit rougher. But she shared a picture of her cousin who's a professional model. I mean, shoot, if I if I were to share his pic or something or a link to it, I guarantee all those dudes would be making those videos about Chad and PSL guys. Oh, they'd be all on it. Because <laughs> he, he fit right in. He fit right in. Shoot, Jeremy Meeks would look at the motherfucker and be like, damn, motherfucker. God damn. <laughs> He's in that range. I, I, put him, I would put him in the Jeremy Meeks, Boris Kojo range, right? You know? pause anyway right <laughs> i was thinking about that shit this morning because it's not just him but you know some guys out here thinking they competing with thugs and shit but i was thinking about it i was thinking about it first from my own point of view i'm like i don't, I don't be competing with no thugs the women i get generally have one or two degrees one or two degrees multiple degrees the women who really click with me my tribe one or two degrees AKA types. <laughs> AKA types. And if I gotta explain what that is, you ain't familiar with black culture and I don't feel like it. But I'll just say real pretty, real smart. Those are my types, but those are the types that ain't going for no damn thug. Your ass better be shit. You better be like on some high value shit, at least look like it. Let's put it like this the women that with being my tribe they never go on those balloon pop shows because really and let me shout out master teacher bgs for the octane scale but most of those women at best are 89s on there at best really a lot of 87 octanes and those are like women average women really average women that really go on anything don't have degrees behind their name anything like that right now those are the type who might go for a pookie or ray ray but most of y'all, if y'all got some shit going on, y'all ain't competing with Pookie and Ray Ray. You know, most of who, which one of y'all in the hood? In the hood. Or the trailer park, or the res, wherever you want to call it. The favela, wherever it is, wherever the poor area is. That's where Pookie and Ray Ray were, went out at, in rougher areas. And with women who are from those areas, how many of y'all from those areas? Now, if you're from those areas, yeah, you competing with them. But if you ain't living in that area, because I would think that the men who are complaining, let's just be, no, let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it a buck. First of all, that's mostly in the black community talk about Pookie and Ray Ray. But even the white equivalent, whatever term they want to use, most dudes who are going to be on these pages ain't, they ain't in those places. So how you competing with the Pookie and Ray Ray? And then I was thinking, like I said, inspired by uh, my lady, beautiful lady friend's uh, cousin. I was like, yeah, I don't see dudes that look like that often. Shoot. Because let's be real. How many of y'all live, can honestly say a dude's a real Chad? Maybe a few of y'all may have a cousin or live near one. But let's be real. Most of the dudes... Most of the dudes ain't on that level, that model level, because let's, let's keep it a buck. Most of the time when somebody talking about some Chad, they talking about those model level dudes. Okay, fine. How many of them walking around? They ain't in great abundance. You talking 1% of 1%. Most of y'all not competing with that. Most of y'all compete with motherfuckers who don't look too different from you. If you're talking about looks and shit, money, whatever. You competing with whatever your group is. 
So are you are you hanging around models and shit? Probably not. Most of y'all motherfuckers, if y'all working on a job or something, that's where you have to deal. Now, if you're working class or something, maybe you might have to deal with a pookie or a Ray Ray. You know, if you're a working class dude. And that's cool. Okay, I understand that. But let's be real. Got a lot of motherfuckers into some tech and other shit. More some white collar shit. No one ain't having to deal with no, like, uh, dudes who be up in the hood or living in the trailer park shit. Because most people, like, an important thing for mating is just proximity. It's proximity. Okay, what what women are in your environment? Now, the only way you compete with Pookie and Ray Ray is you in an environment where you have those type of women. So, really, you need to really get off of this channel. No, I mean, get off this channel. Go check out my money channel. Go check out other people who have money. Let me shout out Glendon Cameron. Check out his channel. Shit, go check out some people so you can get out of that situation. In fact, there was a clip I saw. It was a clip I saw. It was uh, I saved it on uh, IG. I saved it on IG. Uh, this brother was talking, John Hope Bryant. And he was saying, when you look at, like, uh, people where there are real problems and people who have problems and stuff going through life, you know, one, he said, usually their credit scores are going to be in the 500s. And then if you go through their neighborhoods, they're going to have that, like, payday lender, pawn shop, you know, rent to own joint, you know, liquor store, stuff like that. That's where Pookie and Ray Ray is going to be. If you in that situation, if you in that situation, like I said, this... <laughs> This ain't the channel. Check out my money channel. Maybe my deep thought channel. Check out some other money channels. You need to be working on your shit to get... You don't, don't worry about women at that point. You need to get out that situation. You know? But let's be real. A lot of y'all, y'all not in that environment. Y'all ain't in the h o -D. Y'all ain't in the hood. Y'all ain't in no favela or some trailer park or something. So you shouldn't have to worry about Pookie and Ray, right? And then when you talk about some Chad and Tyrone, because let's be real, when somebody talking Tyrone, they talking some model level black man. That's the only difference. Let's just let's just keep it a buck, right? Now, how many motherfuckers are actually around that type of person? And even if you are, a lot, most of them are actually like uh, most of them don't be running harems and stuff. If you take an honest look at the players and the men who got harems. Or like a channel I follow on, uh, a page I follow on IG. It's about men with multiple wives. They look regular to me. Well, they don't look like Chad. I put it like that. They, went, they might be considered uh, what uh, the sister Nicole Michelle calls husband cute. But you ain't going to see too many. They don't look like they're going to get money as a model or something. Because like I said, if, you, if we're going to be honest, motherfuckers be held up a model types. When they talking about PSL gods and shit. Okay. And that's fair. Okay, fine. But how often are you going to see them around? So if you don't see them around, you ain't in proximity with them. You're not competing with them. You compete with motherfuckers that look like you. And really, if you feel like, well, I don't look like one of those models. Look. And, you know, my lady friend concurred last night. One of my lady friends. Beautiful. Beautiful young lady. But she said it. She said, shit. Yeah. Just fix yourself up and have some good cologne. <laughs> oh, man. That's all the man really need to do. Fix himself up. Make sure his fit is right. Make sure the barber blessed him. And some good ass cologne. He's going to get women in decent shape. Body game. You don't have to be in super shape. Just be in decent shape. Even if you're not, just have some good clothes or something. You're going to get some. Then have a good conversation. But see, what a lot of dudes want to do is they want to use those archetypes as an excuse. That's where the problem really come in at. They want to use them as an excuse. Say, oh, I can't get women. They all going for uh, Pookie and Ray Ray. Or they saying, oh, I can't get women. They all going for Chad or Tyrone. But, like I said, how many of y'all really around some model looking dude? Let me just say Chad and Black Chad. How many of y'all around some real model looking dude? And even if you are, it might be one in your overall environment. And what's your environment? Basically where you live, where you work, where you hang out at. How many Chad and Tyrone's or Chad's are in those environments? Probably plenty of women and shit. And then, shit, 
I mean, y'all living in the H O double D, the hood. Just go with it, high spell. Just go with it. Don't don't question. It. But how many of y'all in the H O in the hood or the trailer park or those poor areas? I mean, y'all living in those areas, so you're not competing. Y'all not competing with those dudes, are you? How you gonna compete with them? They ain't in your proximity? Shoot. Because if you're talking about the women part, the women, how they gonna shoot? First of all. They ain't in those proximities unless they groupies. And models, male models really don't have groupies. If you want to be honest, women might go crazy if they're around them, but they don't really have groupies. You be checking them privately. How come you never see a group of like, like a couple of them, some of them might be married at best. But when you see photos of them, you don't see women doing that or how many channels got women going crazy over those guys? I'm just saying. So they ain't gonna be in proximity. You know, you know all those uh, pookies and ray rays. Shit, I thought y'all working on good jobs. They on, Are they on your job? Are they in your neighborhood? Like I said, if they're in your neighborhood, you need to move. Are they where you go for fun? What clubs, you? if you go to nightclubs and stuff like that, are you hanging out at like the high-end social clubs? And there's a ton of them. They be like networking and everything. You hanging out there or bistros or something, or you hanging out like in some hood club or something, or some poor man, some dives or something. Is that where you hanging out at? Because you shouldn't be meeting. That's the bottom line. You shouldn't be meeting. You shouldn't be around them. You ain't competing with them. But you got guys. See, here's the thing. You got guys, they, they ain't no Pookie and Ray Ray, and they ain't no like fashion model, but they getting women and what they do. They just approach and talk to them. And plus, women, you know, they don't want you to shit. Women, are, they're realistic. They might look at a guy and he's super handsome or something. They're like, oh, wow. And, you know, if they're in proximity to him, they might throw it. But how many women are in proximity to those guys? Like I talked to, like I said, the women who tend to be in my tribe tend to be very educated, highly educated. Shit. My son's mother, co-parent, a.k.a. Shit, even a few pictures I left up on uh, IG of me with women. A few pictures, AKAs. What the fuck? And like I said, if you ain't black culture, look it up. Just look it up. I don't feel like explaining. And don't ask in the comments. I'll delete the comment. I'm going to make it work. But you know what they look like? That's my tribe. <laughs> That's my fucking tribe, man. Shit. Highly educated women they ain't fucking with no Pookie and Ray Ray. She, my tribe of women were what, what AKAs and also some Deltas. They more on some bougie shit. They wouldn't even want to mess with. Uh, they wouldn't even want to mess with a Pookie or Ray Ray, even on the uh, what's my call, even on the low. And a Chad, only way Chad gets some play, he better be yeah. He better, hey, he better be able to say he an attorney or something. Because even that Chad ain't getting no play unless he's saying he got, he's at a certain position in life. Shit. Check out what uh, Master Teacher BGS has to say about 92 octanes. Only way they might dip down is they came out that neighborhood, they're a climber. That's the only way. And really ain't a lot of them. Ain't a lot of them. So, you know, because, uh, like I said, a lot of men got to stop using that as an excuse. You're not competing with it. I'm not competing with no Pookie and Ray Ray. You know, shit, it's rare. I see, because even the Chad, so-called Chads, I think I saw one, I can think of one I saw, a dude who, you know, he just stood out like that, carrying a baby around, toting a baby around. <laughs> so it was like, okay, somebody, somebody locked into him. So you ain't competing with them because what you have is a bunch of single women out here. See, that's another thing, too. Because there was a time I said, nah, they got a guy, but, you know, like I said, a third of my clients are female, a third. And I got other uh, young ladies I just talked to just to shoot the breeze and stuff. They got it. There's an opening out here for guys who ain't no thug or guys who uh, don't look super handsome. I used to believe otherwise. I ain't gonna lie. I used to believe otherwise, but I leave I leave shit behind once I see another way. 
once I see something else. Because I used to, I used to think, oh yeah, yeah somebody taking them down. Uh, there's a whole lot of women out there. Cause and I, you know, and people say, well, I, you know, uh, dude, I, I was a professional investigator. I know how to listen to people. In fact, even before I went to school and stuff uh, to learn anything or worked on a job, my uncle was a DC detective. May he rest in peace. Man, he get he catch people. He he'd be doing burglary. He catch somebody for something. And he'll get them so comfortable, they be confessing to crimes that he ain't even arrest them for. The thing was, he, the one thing I got to give to him, he ain't really put him in jail, though. He said, look, give me that shit back, and I'll tell you, that I'll give you something you can tell your attorney that I did wrong in the arrest. Just incidentally, most police officers do do something wrong. So he would get the, he would get the property. He was, he was a, a star getting property back, but had a very low conviction rate. Cause some people were stubborn about it. Boy, they ain't giving the property back. He got the property back, gave it to the people. He said, all right, that's what I did wrong. But one thing I learned from him was how to listen to people, how to talk to people, how to get them to uh, open up with me. And trust me, I know if a woman, if, I, if I'm talking, if it's me and one-on-one -on -one with a woman, trust me, she'll get comfortable. She'll get comfortable with telling me some shit, so. Oh, incidentally, there was a guy who said, I thought you said don't listen to women. I said, no, don't follow them blindly. <laughs> you listen to what everybody say, and then you take it with a grain of salt until you can explore. Even what, even what I say, I say that to say that about me. I say, go out there and explore it yourself. But that's something else. Let me get some knuckleheads. I don't have patience. <laughs> like I said, since the stroke, everything wrong being cool. No, I ain't. I'm like, shit. Because technically I can get a stroke at any time, man. So fuck it. I said, fuck it. I don't feel like holding back like I used to. But anyway, and you know, about this thing, dude's got to stop using that as an excuse as a cop out. I did another video talking about that. Stop using this shit as a cop out. It's your only real competition is you. If you want a type of woman or whatever, it's you. It's like I said, unless you leave, do you live in the hood? Do you live around some Pookie and Ray Ray's? Okay, if you live with around a lot of those guys and you ain't getting a woman and all the women going for more, I'm like, okay, I give you that. And that will happen. Let's just be real with it. That will happen. But usually lower class women that personally I wouldn't fuck with either. Because one, if you're following this channel, you should be working to make yourself better. And if you're living in a place or you in an environment where there's a bunch of low-life men, instead of complaining about them, get the fuck out that environment. Trust me, it's a big difference. It's a big-ass difference. Anybody who's lived, like, uh, around, like, more uh, up at your people or just known them, there's a big-ass difference. You got to come with something different. And that's really no matter how attractive you are. Like I said, even a Chad, he dealing with some high class women and some some high level women. They ain't gonna just fuck with his ex. You better have some. And yeah, there's some women out there. They'll just get a guy just for looks, but that's only a small percentage. That's only a small percentage. Because the average, I'm gonna tell you what, the average woman. If you want to get her, just fix yourself up as best as possible. She might find you handsome, cute. You know, fix yourself up. You know, at least fix your shit up. You know, make sure your beard, make sure your cut's all right. Because, man, you got some barbers out there charging 250 and shit. Shit, you, you, if I pay 250 to a barber, I better get my dick sucked that night. <laughs> but they paying them. Because think about somebody could pay a barber like about a thousand something. Hey, that's like 250 without the tip. <laughs> so they could be paying a barber something. Shit, about a thousand dollars. But the only reason they paying that shit, you know, make sure their hair right, make sure their beard right. Shit, the only way they can pay that shit, the motherfucker getting their dick sucked. So anybody can do that. Anybody can fix up. And women pay attention to a guy who fix up. You know, because they kind of like that shit. As long as the guy, he can have a little bit of ugly in him. As long as he fix up what he got, the women going to be like, yeah, come here, daddy. 
And your shoes right too. <laughs> Seriously, that's all. But see, you got a lot of motherfuckers. They want to like use excuses and shit. It's like, dude, dude. You shouldn't be like, I'm going I'm to I'm say it for the third or fourth or fifth time in this video. First of all, if you're around some low lifes, low life type of men, you need to, you need, you need to like check out some money channels. You need to check out some money channels, okay? <laughs> you need to check out my money channel. You need to figure out how you want, what you want to do. Get an extra job. You need to get up out of there. You need to get your ass up out of there if that's what you're competing with. And then when you talk about, there ain't that many chads around. Let's just be real. Some model looking motherfuckers. Shit. Because even the model-looking motherfuckers, I'm somebody, I worked at a modeling agency and shit. Yeah, one of my thousand jobs. Most models, well, one, most models don't look like those supermodel types, like those Jeremy Meeks types or Boris Cup Joe types. Or any of those other names. Most of them ain't gonna, first day, most of them ain't gonna look like that. They mostly dudes who fixed up. And I'm just gonna be real with it. Half of them ain't liking women any damn way. Let's just be real with it. Dojo worked at a modeling agency, you know? you know? Had to treat them like some ugly women. I said, dude, no, I don't flow that way. So, so why you worried about it? Like, every man need to worry about his own shit. He need to fix himself up. He need to fix himself up. He need to get in environments where there's going to be an attractive woman. You need to figure that shit out. And like I said, but see, a lot of dudes, and you know what, I, I, you know, I understand a lot of dudes might not have been in a position to deal with the upper echelon women. All right, but fix your shit up. You know? Get that money right, not to give to the women, but so you can change your environment. Find out places they're going to be at. And you'll be good to go on the quintessential ball. Anyway, right, I'm gonna get, get some food. But that's all you have to do, man. That's all you have to do. You know, don't worry. Don't worry about those characters. Don't worry about them. Don't worry about them at all. Because you shouldn't be in, you, you, you need to be in an environment where you're not competing with them. And that's most environments. Well, well, yeah, it's out the hood, the trailer park, poor area, whatever you got to do, you know. Damn, girl, got that red dress on. Shit. Damn. Yeah, so get out of there and start a hey, figure out where, uh, you know, <laughs> Man, let's be real. Most of y'all ain't competing with no PSL guy. They ain't out there like that. The only competition is really other men who probably don't look any better than you. But just fix your shit. Seriously, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this. Just fix your shit up. Let the barber bless you. You know, get some good get some, get some good cologne. She smell that cologne. She might not like your face. She smell that cologne. She'll be like, oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up now. Like Issa Rae said, cologne make you make a woman rethink a man's attractiveness. She'd be like, oh, wait, you smell good. Hold on. Well, yeah, that nose crooked, but it's kind of cute. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, man, I'm going to go ahead and get some vittles and shit. Anyway, I get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.